John Pestian is a Cincinnati children's researcher whose life's work is about saving lives in a way few in the medical community can. He has spent years analyzing thousands of suicide notes to determine the language of suicide. He has published multiple peer-reviewed articles and was awarded a patent for his technology. Now he's teaching computers how to listen and report back about what they think they've heard from people to try to identify suicidal behavior. He and his research team have come up with an app to help others, such as school counselors, to get suicidal teens the help they need sooner. Every 14 minutes someone dies by suicide. What you're about to see is the synthesis of eight years of work by clinicians, scientists, and many, many volunteers. The results are based on years of multi-center clinical trials. We've reduced all that complexity down to a very simple application that someone can look at it and make sense of it. His hope is that this technology can be used as a tool to help people make decisions that will get suicidal teens the right help. Four Cincinnati schools are piloting the app. This is an app called SAM. SAM stands for Spreading Activation Mobile. Do you mind if I go ahead and turn on our SAM? Yeah, go ahead. We are doing a clinical trial in the school system where we are implementing the tool within the workflow of a clinical counselor. I've been feeling pretty bad lately. My parents are trying to get me to apply to college, but I don't really see myself getting into any college that I apply to. My grades are really bad, and I just don't really see a point. I don't really see a future in myself, honestly. We've taken the conversations of over 400 people of all ages, and we've put them in the app. The app then listens to their words and determines whether their language is more similar to someone who's at risk of suicide or mental illness. And the technology isn't going to stop the suicide. The technology is just going to say, hey, we got an issue over here. And then we have to make sure we have a clear streamline in order to get to care. And we have to realize that adolescent suicide is really a leading cause of death of that age group. It's in the top three. It's one of those things that really could be viewed as a preventable death. In many ways, our goal is to currently treat children who are thinking about that, but we're always striving to try to find better ways to detect it at an earlier point in time. This is why I think this app has such a strong promise. We hope that SAM will become a national model for the transformation of care for those who have behavioral disorders.